Blake Staker here with Westside Medical. Today I'm going to talk about um, some low back injuries we've had in the office uh, associated with, with basketball players. Now the, the basketball players I get, they're relatively young, you know, they're, they're 20s and they have these disc issues that you usually don't see in uh, kids in that, that age bracket. What happens is basketball itself is a very repetitive, stress oriented sport. You did a lot of jumping. When you jump and land, that force is, is distributed for your entire entire spine. I know a lot of people get hung up about lifting, you know, be careful when you lift, you're gonna injure your back. The force your back has to absorb when you jump and land is a lot greater than that because you're taking that weight plus the momentum of landing on the ground. So let's look at the uh, how the mechanisms of injuries happen. A lot of my basketball players we see that they are their L5 S1 or their L4 L5 disc is uh, it lacks hydration. There's also maybe a possible herniation which is the cause of the low back pain. So if we go over here, we'll zoom over this way. How that herniation starts is these kids have been playing basketball from a, a really young age, you know, playing on asphalt, um, you know, jumping, landing, and their, their low back's been absorbing that, that stress. So what happens, what initially starts is, like, this is a little anatomy here. Here's annulus fibrosis, the fibrous outer part of the disc and the nucleus pulposus inner jelly part. And it separates these different vertebrae. So here's the disc, and here's the vertebra. So what happens is these, these kids, they're, they're running and jumping, and what happens is they can get little stress fractures in the end plate here of the vertebra, and a lot of times it doesn't heal properly, it causes like an inflammatory reaction. And that inflammation affects this here, the nucleus pulposus, and its ability to stay hydrated. So you get some decreased hydration and that eventually causes some circumferential like some bulging kind of like a flat tire and that causes little cracks and eventually get these little herniations. Um, and so what we do in our offices we want to get the patient in a position where they have the lowest inner disc pressure as well as you want to perform an exercise where it's not going to stress and compress the back yet still strengthen it. So this exercise is like a, like a deadlift and a squat they're, they're good exercises, but you don't necessarily want to do it with somebody, with somebody that has uh, a disc injury. And that's where the reverse hyper in our office comes in. So right here, this is the uh, reverse hyper we have, uh, devised by uh, Louis Simmons from Westside Barbell. So we have our basketball patients that hop up here, and they're able to go through this range of motion as hip extension, which, which is vital to, to jumping without compressing that lower spine that's already injured, irritated from that repetitive jumping motion and that compression. So how it works is we have somebody first, we have a step here, and a step here, we're gonna hinge at the hips, we're gonna grab on the, the, the posts here, we're gonna keep the lats tight, abdominals tight. Feet in here, comfortable, and just have them work here. So there's that traction, it's stretching out that, that low back, causing the distraction in the disc and the compression. And that compression and distraction helps pump out the inflammation, helps that disc heal. And also when you lay in your stomach, you have like a disc that's posterior, as most of them are. This laying down posture drives the disc back central where it needs to be. So it's, so it's gravity aided uh, in, a, in the therapy. So I have them right through here. Just go through this range of motion. Right here, just compress that disc and then relax it, allowing the pumping of the fluid. So this is also good just for like regular maintenance, maintenance of the low back. So you have the basketball players that you know run and jump, and they get compression. This here also just helps to kind of relax it and keep that compression off the spine while you're able to work on that, that extension. So for more about this table, visit us at westside-medical.com.